Welcome back, DC fans get excited. Popular characters are suiting up once again for a series next season. That's right, and all your favorite characters from the HBO Max show Titans are back with more action and Matt. That's right, I spoke one on one with the showrunner about the changes that fans could see this season. I'm interested to hear this. A lot of people are asking and wondering, will season three be the best season yet? Do you have yeah. any opinion on that? And what would you say? I mean, that's up to, that's not my call. You know, we, we, we try to make every season the best season yet. So I hope they think so. Um, I hope they like it. You know, we worked hard and I think there's, you know, you've seen some episodes and I think the season will do the talking for itself. And I want to ask about Jay Lycurgo, Tim Drake. Uh, he's coming into the mix. You know, all, people have seen him in the trailers yeah. and stuff. So people yeah. know he's coming. What kind of energy does he bring to the show? How does oh, he make man. things different? Buoyant. You know, um, he's so charismatic. He's so skilled. and cra He has so much craft as an actor. Um, he really captures that energy of Tim Drake. I mean, we've had three kind of energetic presences come in of, the, you know, people who are more on the innocent side. Uh, in our show, and uh, we had Gar, we had Jason Todd, and now we have um, Tim Drake. People who are kind of enamored with this idea of the, of the adult male superhero and what does it mean, and the family, and, and and the kind of the mythos. And a lot of these are creations of Jeff Johns, um, who's one of my partners and who's you know kind of an iconic creator in the comics book space. And it really captures Jeff's energy. And so what we wanted to do is really get a guy who was. Of course, any time when you have a story of someone who is, I'll just kind of backtrack a little bit, who really loves this myth, we want to kind of poke the myth and, you know, let the air out of it and let them find their own way into it. And that's really what Jay was able to capture so well is Tim Drake's love for Batman and Robin and the Titans, as in the books, and then his, his own path there. Uh, and he's a tremendous actor. And, you know, watch his TikTok if you, if you want to have some fun. Obviously, a big thing this season people are super excited about is Red Hood, Jason Todd, that backstory is super important in DC lore. Um, talk about the inspiration for uh, Curran Walters, Jason Todd, Red Hood combo, because obviously, you know, we've got um, Batman, the killing joke. We've got back on Batman, Arkham Knight, and also the comics, the death and the family comics. So there are a lot of places to pull from for this. Are there any specific places that you guys have pulled from for this character with Curran Walters? Or is this brand new Red Hood? So I kind of wanted to hear your thoughts on that. I don't think it's brand new Red Hood. I mean, you mentioned Death of the Family. I think that there are definitely comics we're pulling from that people will notice. I mean, it, it, won't, it won't be hard to notice that, but more from um, an origin notion, you know, from where we start and then what we do with it and spin it goes in our own way. I think that's been true of a lot of the characters. And that's always a challenge is trying to stay true to the to the core values or the core connection that the audience has with the characters, but trying to expand the character in our own more grounded, uh, more psychologically real, you know, television show. Uh, so and drama. So yeah, that's it, it definitely comes from, again, a lot of these core ideas are coming from books, and then we move them out of the books, but you'll notice them for sure, um, with with Red Hood and, and Jason's Descent into Red Hood is a little different than how it happens in the books, but a lot of the reasons are built both in our show and in the books.